Okay, welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. We are, this is gonna be probably the longest recipe that I'm ever gonna be having filmed. This is gonna actually be taking probably two days. We're doing a specialty pork loin today. And well, Christian, who's our pork loin fanatic, <laughs> is and it's in here, surprisingly enough, even though I just said pork loin now five times. <laughs> okay. So here's what we're doing. First things first, you want to take some barbecue sauce. It is that important. Barbecue sauce is that important. And we're going to take and take my knife and kind of loosen it up some and then make a bed of barbecue sauce. Now I use the knife because I like to have a nice clean circular cut around the label. You see, look how nice and clean that was. <clears throat> so I use the knife to do that. I didn't just rip the label off. I'm going to pop this off and I want to take my knife in the sink. And then, now, the pork loin. You must kind of let it sit and just kind of ease into thawing. That way the pores on it gets good and opened up. I get the blood pack off. Okay. Part of the meat. That's part of the meat right there, this white stuff here. Now I'm gonna take and put this this way up. Now it's sitting in the barbecue sauce. Now I'm gonna go and wipe my, wipe, rinse my fingers off and wipe them off. <clears throat> Use that, it's all soapy. I'm almost washing <coughs> the pan. Now, because of the quality that this recipe calls for, you will want to wash your this pan before you use it, even if it's clean. I'm gonna take and get some more barbecue sauce for the top. This is gonna be using the most barbecue sauce you probably ever use at this stage. <coughs> now. It's the entire bottle. I've used this entire new bottle of barbecue sauce. One pound and a half. Is the pound and a half. Okay, this is one pound of barbecue sauce. I just put on that pork one. <coughs> Now, now then, what the next thing you want to do is take this spoon here and kind of like spread it off to the sides. And then this goes in the fridge. Okay, here we go. Hello. I'm going to put this in the fridge. I'm gonna leave the spoon with it because I'm gonna be eating that. So here's basically the instructions. In one hour, you're gonna come back here, turn the pork loin over, and then take and scoop the barbecue sauce on top of it. And then tomorrow, you're gonna to open up your fridge, turn it over again, and then put the barbecue sauce on top again. That's it. See you tomorrow. For when we move this to that pork loin, to the next stage, which I'll be revealing then. See you tomorrow. By the way, funny friends, the world is smart. All right, so here we go. Uh, day two. I, I turned it over and put the barbecue sauce on it twice. Once last night and once this morning. So now here we are on the next part of this recipe. And uh, congratulations, you got the patience to go through this. <laughs> I got the patience to go through this. Let's put it that way. Come on, man. Hurry up and make it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now let's get out the marinate injector. Hmm. That's a blue shot for the full line. And then get this here in the you know what? So this is the easy way. It's just use scissors. It'll save you so much time. All kinds of little shortcuts you can do at the same time. <laughs> so many gizmos. All right, let's open it up. Do this a little bit of shaking. <laughs> I counted 25. <laughs> and uh, two shot. <laughs> now. Can I, can I say it? <laughs> Here we go. Okay, Parkland, this is your annual flu shot, so please hold still. Don't move. 
Some in here. The pain. <laughs> oh, it's here. coming out. Some in here. Some in there. Butter. <laughs> some in there. Get some more. <laughs> There's like different levels. Too much. <laughs> There's never such a thing as too much. That's what Batman says. <laughs> he says. <laughs> Alright. Almost, almost got this pork loin here stuffed. I can't even see this pork loin down. I call first taste test. <laughs> you heard it. <laughs> the pork loin enthusiast. First, our pork loin enthusiast is called first taste test. <laughs> yeah, this is a pork loin. Alright. It smells like one and it looks like one. Look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. See, that's about sixteen injections into it. Yeah, okay. That, that's good with the flu shot for like sixteen years already. Now let's uh, let this sit for a couple hours and then we can go in the oven. See you then. Hey, and welcome back. Well, as you know, my son is making some sort of pork loin roast. And so next is to um, take and fill out the water. You don't want your roast to dry out. So we're going to cover it with water. And now we're just going to stir it to make sure all the juices are all over. There we go. And... I don't know why my son wanted the parsley on it, but um, we'll sprinkle it with some parsley just to give it some prettiness. And I guess some of the parsley flavor. There we go. That's about two tablespoons, give or take. Close enough. Well, I just put it in there for looks. Okay, now we're going to pop it in the oven. Now, for those who you want to know, we're going to pop it in the oven, put it on the side. It's 10.30. So we're going to put bake it at 350 degrees for approximately two to two and a half hours. My son didn't tell me the size of the roast, but figure it this way, 20 minutes per pound. And you don't want to get it underdone, so you want to look at it and smell it. And we'll show you what it looks like when it's done, other than since this is a roast and not the loin. Okay. There you have it. Um, we'll see you when we pop to take it out of the oven in approximately two hours. It looked like it was mainly, could have been about probably at least a five to six pound roast. Okay, so stay tuned. If I never end in the world of smart, don't go away. Okay, here we are finishing up the pork loin. It's been in the oven a long time. That's how the bad boy looks. Beautiful. Good, beautiful pork loin. Highly complicated recipe, well worth it. Taste test time. He had dibs, remember? Uh, and my Christian there called dibs. So you do taste test. I must get my tools. Let me get my tools. Uh, well, you got that fork there. You can always. No, I. He called dibs on the first taste test. Yeah, but. It, That's your fault. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> but <who did> <laughs> yeah, we fit that, right? <laughs> <laughs> and here I go. Oh my goodness. Mm. So I predict it'll be gone. Is it Chris day. approved? Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is. Alright. Well. And so. Thank you for watching. The world, the fun never ends. In our kitchen, the wackiness doesn't end. And I would be cutting this up for everybody. So thank you for watching and enjoy the. Can you wrap that up for me and give it to me on the tray? <laughs> so enjoy the recipe and good luck having the patience to cook it. Thank you for watching Z Sparkles Corner and there's always the fun never ends in the world of smart and feel free to subscribe and hugs and kisses from my family to your Come on. happy holidays. Come on. For a glowing. Try it. Yeah, you know you want to try it. It's good. Delicious. Sounds I can boring. eat that. <laughs> happy holidays. 
Have fun. Wow. And as always, the fun never ends in the world of smart. Bye, everybody. Keep watching for more fun videos.